Hey folks, this is Kathleen over at Book Brush. Today I want to talk about creating cover reveals. First option, click on Book Template. We will click on Reveal right here. And there are tons of cool choices that let you peep the book cover underneath. So I'll keep scrolling for you. Different genre type themes with puzzle pieces and rips and rocks and hearts. So look through these, see which one might work for you. And then if you see one you like, you click on it, click your book cover, and that's going to populate in the workspace. Move it wherever you want. Single click and adjust the sizing here in the slider. Double click and adjust the slider here. Or my favorite hidden gem to resize, hold the shift key and drag the corner and it will resize in proportion. So that's option number one. Choosing one of these reveal templates here, right here in book templates. Option number two is totally unique, you create your own. So let's take a look at that option. You'll choose either a physical book or ebook or a phone. You want it to be straight facing. So we'll start with physical book here. And I'm coming down and choosing one that's straight facing, mean not at an angle. We'll put the book cover in. Bring it over here, make it larger. And then here's where things get really cool as far as personalizing. Hop down on the left to Elements. There's a Cover Reveal section here. You can click See All. And we're going to grab one like this. Bring it over here. Now, if you have not heard me talk about the color picker, prepare to be amazed. So we will double click this. It's currently this super dark charcoal. Click on that. Click the eyedropper and come over. Let's say we want to match that amazing pink in the title. So we can click that. You don't have to know the color code. It matches perfectly. And I'm resizing this here. Bring it up here. And now you are in control of what is showing and what isn't in your cover reveal. Now this is an element and you probably know this, but maybe not. You can duplicate an element clicking the plus button in the lower left corner of the element. That gives you another one. So I can double click that, come over here on the left, flip vertically, bring that in. Now I need to adjust that just a tiny bit, but you can see how cool that would be. The next thing you could do is almost flip flop them. So on this version, what we're hiding is in the center. And so you are in charge and you pick. So there's one with a physical book. We'll pop through one with an ebook as well. Click book template on the left. Ebook. You're going to want straight facing. And I'll make this one a little bit larger as well. And come back on the left for elements. Cover reveal. And this time we'll try this one. So this doesn't have that straight edge like we had here but it's awfully cool as well. So we will color pick, match an interesting color from the cover, make it larger, which we can resize either by dragging or use that slider over there. And with the ebook, I kind of sit right inside here. And then once you kind of have the size you want, just click the plus button to duplicate and you can overlap them. So it looks like one huge cover reveal or you can space them out. Definitely check out in Elements on the left, Cover Reveal, if you're wanting to create your own option. Now keep in mind, with any of these elements, another hidden gem, you can do gradient. So if I click this gradient option here, I could add another cool color. We could duplicate that one. I'm all about all the fun colors. So if you feel like the solid color just isn't giving you enough pizzazz, double click for gradient color. And again, when you click the element, it's right here on the left, primary gradient. And if you want to take it off, just click that. If you want it back, click gradient. So you can have lots of fun doing cover reveals. Now you know where they are. Go get to it.